And hey guys, it's me, Tuck. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, that was random, we gathered green stars in Sky Station, Yoshi Star, and Flip Swap. Yeah, that's it. And we're going to be swapping as Luigi. I actually remembered. Awesome. Luigi, indeed. Give him your best. Thanks for the repetition, Loba. This time, I think I have it planned out because I have like four galaxies that are like two each and then three that are three each. So I'm going to get two three-star galaxies and get one, yeah, one, um, just two-star galaxy. And majority of them are in World 3, so let's just go ahead and do World 3. I'm going to go to Tall Trunk first off, since it's closer. And just because Tall Trunk kind of fits the season, I don't even know. It's just close, let's pick it. <clears throat> pick it. Kind of get a little dry here, of course, I tossed my drink. This cannot be happening. <clears throat> Green Star 1, involving the balloon fruit. I still don't see how this tree can grow on this freaking tiny piece of soil. Is this part even soil? It looks like part of the tree. It looks like part of the tree. I'm taking that to my grave. Alright then, let's make our way up here. Might want to not desert myself from the tree. That might be kind of bad. Oh god. I'm getting there. I know where the green star is. I can hear it. Oh, here we go. Right here next to the health room. I have to abandon Yoshi. And we already get it, and Luigi's incredibly green. Wow. And it's time for green star number two, which... I think is in like those little maze portions with the balloon fruit, so that should be very painful. Well, not literally, but you know, painful isn't stressful. I don't even know. Let's just rip it and see how we go. Once again, we... Nintendo Logic. That's pretty much all I can say to this right here. I'm not even gonna talk about how impossible it is for this big, huge, gigantic tree to grow on this little nub of soil. I'm not even going to bother, because it just makes no sense to me, whatsoever. Nintendo just confuses me sometimes with their random stuff. I don't even know. Let's just find the Star Slinger and get out of here. Right here it is. Amazing. Really? just had to ruin the moment here, we remote batteries. I could have swore I charged them. No, I always charge them before I play with them. Um, I'm referring to the batteries. And the Wii Remote in general. Anyways, we're just going to head down here, because this is pretty much... No... Dang it. No, we still want Yoshi. I don't want to go down the pop. I don't care about this little lottery game. I'm bad at him anyways, and Yoshi's gone. Oh well, he's down here, I guess. So, it's not like he's that far away. Still. Let's try to get through here. Um, let's see if we can do this. Pull this random stuff off. That doesn't help at all. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. I don't even know how I did that either, so... Woohoo. Okay, this Wii Remote is Lies and Slander. It has two bars left. Two. Dose. You see this? You see what I have to go through with this stupid Wii Remote? It's like a love-hate relationship, but mostly hate. There's like no love in it at all. It's awful. Anyways, green star number three. We get to go on the awesome slide. Oh my god. They love showing off this tree, don't they? 
Oh, here we go. This place, sacred. Our people, brave. You came here? <laughs> At least they actually spoke a legitimate sentence. That one actually went to first grade. Alright, now, let's slide our way up here. We're like Tarzan on these things. Way to go, Luigi. And here we are. Let's listen to some more gibberish. Slide, never quit. He said does. Sharp red things, no touch. We watch, slide. Be brave, jump in. Well, that one was kind of a sentence, but it was like kindergarten material. Anyways, here we are on the slide of hopes and dreams. Has Luigi this time too, and he's once again incredibly green. I, um, trying to remember which portion of the slide the green star comes in. One one of these videos, this blind green star hunt is going to get to me and make me fail hardcore. Let me actually go pretty slow. Oh, you can't slow down? You can't tilt backwards and slow down? That's disappointing. wonder if I hit something. Here, hit me. Thank you. See, those angry wigglers have a reason. I guess. I don't even know. I don't want to die here. I want to live. Alright. Uh, ooh, there it is, there it is. Really? Really? Your little foot tripped me. You red caterpillar. No. You're an oversized bunch of ball of caterpillars. I don't even know. That was uncool. It tripped me with its little foot. One of its many little feet. It tripped me. That is not cool. Wiggler, you just went down on the awesome bar for me. You're one of my favorite characters, and you just did that to me. That's not cool. At all. Let's try this again. Oh no, here we go. Someone's on their period. To all girl viewers, I do not mean to offend. Anyways, let's run through the train wrecks here and try to get that star. Hopefully we can get it this time. If not, then I'll just skip to it. And hopefully, you know, it could be the third time that I get it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no nub foot trick tricking. Tripping. Hooray. Take that, Wigglers. Alright then, let me try to turn my laptop back on. Really? It closed out a notepad. Have to open it back up. Come on. Okay, here we go. The next galaxy is Freezy Flake. I actually knew that, so I don't know why I was struggling with notepad there. But this is another one of those three star galaxies I'm going to get in this video, and then I'm going to end up doing um, one more galaxy specifically a two-star one out of these I don't know probably one that might be in this galaxy if there is one but anyways you can hear the glimmer already of a green star but that's not green star number one green star number one is if it's the one I'm thinking of really easy just get some flowerage knock this Goomba statue over good thing that one can actually hurt you just head down here and kill this Bowser statue. Why would you make a snow statue of yourself? Honestly. Especially when you can melt it so easily, and you breathe fire in general. What would be the point? Anyways, here's the first green star. Very, very quick and easy. Alright, time for green star number two which actually it caused me a lot of pain and suffering if it's I think I know exactly where it is yep it caused me a bunch of pain and suffering based on how absolutely evil it is and why whenever I record Super Mario Galaxy 2 
Why does something always get in my eye? So annoying. And it always happens during Super Mario Galaxy 2. And no, it's not Tears of Joy. Or Sorrow, for that matter. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's just randomly <laughs> throw fireballs everywhere. Look at that one. It's like spazzing out. <clears throat> And slide down here, pass by the easy one. Don't know why you can't jump there. Alright. For some odd reason, I have the tendency to get underneath these little blocks of snow. And in the result, you know, totally crushes me. Oh, no, this isn't it. Aren't you supposed to go backwards if you do that, Luigi? I totally went the wrong way. <laughs> I was thinking that where the comet middle was, there was a green star, but there's not. Technical difficulties here. It's actually here. You can see it right there, the little glimmer. I have to push some snowballs once again to get by here. Can you, like, merge these, like Animal Crossing? make an oversized deformed snowman apparently not oh we don't want to go this way we going to go this way come on really you can't be for real let's just jump up here for the heck of it and look over here Bingo! Oh my god. Really? What? Huh? Oh my god. This is official proof, y'all, that this game hates my guts. I've never failed on that star. Because it's so easy. But then here we go. Fellow Rama. Right here, right now. Here, what if I jump from here? Is that better? Is this okay for you, game? Apparently it is. Well, we have one more green star to go, which is my absolute favorite, so see you all in a bit. And it's the last green star, and once again, it's my favorite one out of this, and probably one of my most favorites in general, <clears throat> based on how completely unique it was. And if you didn't really know your whereabouts, then you'd be struggling for a while, but still, it's it's a good kind of struggling, if that makes sense at all. Probably doesn't. Oh boy, it's Pacer Luigi. Yeah. Luigi's so random sometimes. I find it very hilarious. All right, where do we go? I think all the Goomba statues have at least one form of the Sling Star. I hate searching for these though because I can never remember where they're at. No, it was this one. And then I think there was one in this crystal right here. No, it was another one of those. Oh my god. Stupid little burr bits. Is that what their names are? Someone told me the names of these and I forgot them. And I was—I I promised this person that I would remember it, and here I go, forgetting their names. They're still an annoyance, annoyance, so, yeah. Here's where it was, yeah. And the last one's way up here, so we have to climb up here again. Come on. I wanted a coin, I didn't want a Goomba. That form of lottery sucks. No one wants to win a Goomba lottery. Not even a Goomba himself. Alright, here we go. There, you, you saw it right there. But for some odd reason, I completely missed that when I was first playing. <laughs> so I just constantly kept looking throughout this entire level for a green star. When all you have to do is this. Three one-ups and a green one. 
and I will see you all at the next green star, or galaxy. Alright, now that we have two three star ones done, um, shoot. I have to just go to one of these. I'm going to pick randomly. How about I just go to this one since I know where it is. This one that we're going to be going to is, well, there's actually two here, but since this one's closer, boss splits. And then I can just get the rest in another wonderful little video. But for now, we're just going to blitz it up with these bosses. Except we're totally going to skip some of them and just grab the green stars that we see. If I can recall where green star one is... Yep, it's right there, underneath that tree. <laughs> so blatantly obvious. That's a, such a funny part about this game. They show you, like, majority of the green stars in the little cutscenes. Which ruins it sometimes, but at the same time, you just think it's hilarious. Because they could have totally not shown it, but they just do it anyways. So we're going to face Dino Piranha once again. makes a wonderful return. He's already mad. He wanted more he wanted more camera. Although he's getting it right now. That was a horrible pun. Anyways, Dino Piranha is still easy as ever. Difficult when you first play Mario Galaxy, but after you play it for a pretty good sum of time, he's a cakewalk. And it's time for King Caliente. I, I love how they bring the ga um the game music back from the first one. I, I liked this one when I faced King Caliente. Okay, one thing I want to know is that how he can keep a coconut in his friggin' snout when he stores like molten rock in there. He dips his friggin' snout in the lava. Yeah, he, he manages to keep a perfectly round green coconut in his snout. Maybe it's like snot or something. I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to give up. Use your imagination. Uh, even though it has like the little coconut thing on it. King Caliente confuses me. And we're not facing you... You're not even chasing the star bunny. You're so random. Anyways, here's the green star. And the next one is actually rather lengthy too, so in a moment. And it's time for the last green star in the video. And this one is a little bit after Major Burrows. And I was actually... I actually guessed on this one, I'm not going to lie, and I got it right where I was guessing where it was going to be. I was actually surprised when I got it right too, because, well honestly you didn't have much left to choose from after Major Burrow since there's only two bosses left. Major hint right there. And if you hit one on a planet like this, it'd be pretty stupid, so if that gives like the biggest hint ever, then I don't know what else does, honestly. How do they bring another egg back to life here? You'd have to be a pretty big stork to carry an egg of a friggin' Dino Piranha. Big and bulky stork. Like a Pelipper or something. An overgrown Pelipper. Or Pelipepper. Whatever that Pokemon's name is. It's not really a favorite of mine, so I don't really recall its name that much. And then you have the lava form of Octillery here. I'm just going to refer all these friggin' enemies to Pokemon because that's what they remind me of sometimes. This one looks like Octillery with a crown in a way. Just, just squint your eyes and you'll see it. Trust me. And crap gets real when he drops the crown. 
do random tricks. Let's not miss this time. Those pl plu did I just almost say plu? Those blue potaboos never really get in my way. I don't think I've ever gotten hit by one either. Hopefully I can keep it like that. I don't even think they reappear in any more of the galaxies. So I'm I'm safe. It's, it's all good. Let's beat Major Burrows here. Let's see, what Pokemon does he look like? He looks like that fifth generation. I can't remember those names all that good. That one dr Exadrill. <laughs> Whenever I hear that name of that Pokemon, it reminds me of freaking pain medicine. <laughs> Doesn't does Exadrill? Ju it just sounds like okay. You know Benadryl. Think of Exadrill. It sounds similar, and it just reminds me of pain medicine in a way. Oh God. Exadrill here is getting pretty antsy. Looks like he actually might need some Benadryl. Or not. He took some Tylenol. Alright. Here is where it is, because you saw that little gleam right there. I completely guessed on this one, and I managed to get it right, so I felt amazing for like two seconds. You don't even have to face this boss, Boulder Gust, which is amazing. No Pokemon compares to you. You just look like Bogmire. That's that's what you remind me of. Just run along the back here, and here it is, right here. Now, without dying. <laughs> or the rocks. He's shooting rocks at us. There's a friggin' boo going crazy. Oh my god. There's a nice little horror scene for you. Although I'll never post those, trust me. I hate those Screamo craps. Screamo craps. That Screamo crap. Anyways, we got the last star I plan to get in this video, so pretty much pans that out. And what we have left is three two-star galaxies and one space storm galaxy, which reminds me, someone did not look at the end of the video, and I said you can vote only a two maximum, and they voted three. That's why I keep those things at the end. So if any of you want to vote, just please read that. And your video, your vote will actually probably count if you just listen to it. And it's not that hard. I'm not posting it secretly. I'm even going to tell you right now, like the Mario Sports Mix one that I said was going to be hidden is actually going to be at the very end. So yeah, it's, it's not that hard to just read that small section if you're going to vote. So... So that one person, you might have totally, you know, misread it and probably read it as three, but just read carefully next time, I guess. Anyways, that will end this video, so thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.